This was the first of our morning dives. We saw some good wildlife and started to get used to the guns and the gear. It's my first season spearing and this is one of Mike's first dives. We had a few good looks at some yellowtails. They're really the only thing that's good eating down there because of the cigatera. Like these bar jacks are toxic. We rented a boat and Captain Steve to take us around St. John for the day. He showed us a bunch of cool stuff like this that rock cool. jump. That was good lighting. It's a good high jump, man. Which we never knew existed. <laughs> we came armed to the teeth and he brought us outside the park off the east end. Here we got a schoolmaster and a yelltail snapper and saw a few barracudas eyeing down our catch. This is the reef off Flanagan Island. It had some nice structure to it. It held a bunch of nice snappers and we burnt out the rest of our dive time. We were still trying to chase down the snappers. Hey, what do you got there, Mike? A fish. I was so happy when I saw you got that thing. Earlier in the trip, Mike had us buy a 50 pound bag of rice for our fish fries and it turned out to work out. Shark Island off Sapphire Beach was nice and it was right down the road from our spot so we went back. This time we were ready and on. We got a few glass eye snappers under these overhangs. This is the southeast side of the island. And as I say the coral looked pretty good. On this drop, I finally filmed the cleanest shot of getting a schoolmaster. But with the gun mount, it takes a lot of discipline to get the film right. So a mass mount would probably be a lot cleaner. Unfortunately, we missed some of the action. When we got to the north side of the island, I saw a nice lobster at the end of the drop and I immediately grabbed it with both my hands on his antennas. And he immediately ripped off and shot back into his hole. Mike saw this and immediately dove down and somehow got him out. So I'm watching him struggle with this biggest lobster I've seen. And it gets loose, so I dove down and I just happened to see it scooting across the, the sand until it hit a rock and we finally secured it. Made a great dinner. We did a nice full day at St. John with the ranger on the car ferry and we had our last dive back out at the east end. We were kind of fished out at this point, but a lot of action came to life after we spread some chum. We got a few rock hinds and some yellowtails and even saw a moray eel. And to end this trip, Mike shot a huge dog snapper. That we mistook for a mutton. Our friend Tyler advised us against eating it because of the cigatera. Yeah, so it, it turned out to just be a nice jaw mount. This was one of my favorite trips to St. Thomas. We had, did a bunch of cool stuff and we had a good crew.